welcome back to yet another episode. Today I'm going to be fishing down here at Ardrossan. I'm just over here at the jetty and it's a little bit blowy. It's just up on the high tide now. Uh, excuse my eyes, I'm a bit tired. I've um, been going all night. Fished all through the night. It was probably about dead low, fished up through the high and didn't manage to get anything or missed the squid and whatnot, but it is what it is. Fingers crossed we can get onto a few squid, maybe a few snook, and just have a bit of fun really. Um, hopefully get a bit of bait as well, because I wouldn't mind um, trying for a few bigger fish, if you know what I mean. But um, yeah, we'll see how we go. The day, it, look, it's a little bit blowy, I won't lie. Um, it's not completely flat as you see. So it's a little bit white cappy, but it's still fishable. So fingers crossed it doesn't blow up anymore. And hopefully we can get onto a few fish. So don't go anywhere guys and stay tuned for a bit of action. So the jig I'm going to be using today is something quite new. So it's called a Shimano Cephia Clinch. Now they've been extremely popular over the last couple months. What they've actually done is something very different from a generic sort of normal squid jig. So it's got a mirror that runs through it and it sits on two little springs either side. Now you'll notice that it almost flashes as such as that mirror sort of just shimmers in that sunlight. A lot of people reckon it's almost to sort of mimic like an injured bait fish sort of giving off distress sort of flashes and whatnot. But at the end of the day, we're going to test it out today. So I'll get her on and see how we go. All tied on, I will give that a trim and we'll get it out there. towards something like that so that's a cool little evergreen jig there that's a 3.0 so a little bit more weight to hopefully a bit more of a faster sea especially with this wind as well i'm sort of hoping that by going into like a sort of jig maybe in the murky water we might just see some improvement if not i'm going to test the theory i'm going to go for something completely bright white or a pearl or a um, fluoro green or anything like that and we're going to have a look at what we can manage but in saying that i'm going to start Fingers crossed, I can manage a bit of tucker for myself tonight, but um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Well, there we have it guys, first little squidly of the morning. That was second cast on that little evergreen jig there. I don't know, it just looks so good, like look at the colours on that thing. So. I didn't think it would disappoint me, and there we are. Here, look, he's not the biggest, but at the end of the day, that is firstly going to be dinner for me, and then hopefully second one's going to be a bit of bait. Because, well, hang on, buddy. Because I'm in need of some at the moment. But there you go, switched up to a different colour jig, and almost straight away hooked up. So we'll get it back out there, and hopefully we can get a few more. I was using a little evergreen, didn't manage anything, so I decided to swap back over to that little Sephir Clinch. And there we have it. Come to think of it, that's the first squid I've caught on one of these. So that's a two and a half jig. Look, it's pretty blowy, but it is still pretty shallow where I'm fishing. And that right there is going to be my grub. We'll pop him out of his misery, and hopefully we can get a few more. So just a small size, but in the wind, I'm casting it just straight to the wind. They can't 
so well. It's unbelievable. I'm getting so much distance in such a small jig. Whereas if I was using like a smaller sort of Yosu or Yamashita, I don't know, I don't think I'd get that much distance. So, I don't know, there's one little positive I've noticed. But we will keep at it. Another nice guard, a good guard today. I'm just using a simple float rig, so I've just got a little spring float, something like that. Just got two small split shots there, and then I've got a size 10 mosquito hook with a little bit of cockle, and I've got a bit of tuna oil there. This is literally spare at the moment, so I thought let's chuck it back to basics. And there seems to be a few out there, so we'll keep at it. There we go. Another nice little guard. Literally just going back to basics. It just reminds me of like what I used to do when I first started fishing when I was younger and whatnot. It's just something so simple. There he is. Perfect bait in the surf. Another car. It's actually a good one. This Perfect. I don't mind a few of these. I thought, you know what, I thought that the squid might be on the hot plate tonight, but mate. I've got a few gar butterflies. It's been a while since I've filled to the gar, so we'll have to see how we go. It's either that or he's gone to bait, so perfect. Let's try and get a few more, hey. You just love this back to basic sort of fishing, something's totally different, you know. So, as for bait, guys, all I'm doing is grabbing just a little cockle because this is literally all I've got on me. And see this little white part of the cockle, that little bit of flesh there? All I'm doing is just nicking it. And don't use a lot, I'm only using a size 10 hook, which is tiny, just perfect for him. And that is it. Just like that, snelled like that, and then my two little split shots, and that is all you need. Well guys, I'll again. Here we have it. He's a good one. Look at that for a garfish, guys. How awesome is that? Off the jetty as well, Edith Berg Jetty providing the goods, and that was that first cast after that bait up as well. So, well, there's a nice little gar. I reckon on that note, I'm probably gonna look, <laughs> pack it up and continue our little venture along the Yorks here and see what else we can find. 